my channel and today we're gonna do another masking and bemoaning spooky edition <laughs> um, which is where we talk about movies pop culture media in general but no drama you know y'all keep that on your page um, <laughs> and on my comment section um yeah and then we're doing this spooky edition because we're doing it in conjunction with Halloween. So we have been watching uh, at least 10 pieces of media. Um, when I say that, it's either going to be a show or a movie um, about this in conjunction with Halloween. So yeah, today we're going to be talking about The Manor, which is one of four movies on Amazon Prime um, when they're co with their collaboration with Bloomhouse. It is an hour and 22 minutes long. It, um, there are a couple of familiar faces. I recognize Barbara Hershey and um, Sierra Payton. And this, if you don't know Sierra Payton, I know her from, she played Wendy Williams in the latest Wendy Williams biopic. So yeah. What is the gist of this movie? Um, after suffering a stroke, Judith Albright, that's Barbara Hershey, um, moves into a historic nursing home where she begins to suspect something supernatural is preying on the residents. In order to escape, she'll need to convince everyone around her that, th that she doesn't actually belong there after all. Dun dun dun. Okay, so I will say that the thing is that the, the nursing home is sketchy from jump. It is filled with what I would consider to be elder abuse. Like, you ain't got to talk to these people like this and treating them like kids and tying them to the bed. Well, that's, that's elder abuse. I know. I think anybody would consider that elder abuse. If you see me looking down, I'm looking at my handy dandy notes um, because we're doing what? So we need points to be what? Concise it to the point, okay? Um, the patients are dying off pretty quickly and are all being diagnosed with the same kind of thing, which is um, Parkinson's um, dementia. Literally, that's how it's um, being presented. And that's what's happening to all these people. They're using the same brain x-rays on everyone. Um, even though they are all doing relatively well when they start in, because even though, um, Judith did have a stroke. She made the choice to go into this nursing home. Judith was a dancer. She had always been active to the point that even before this, she had just turned, it starts and it opens with her 70th birthday party. At that point, she's still teaching kids how to do ballet. So, you know, she's still with it and she doesn't seem to really have any lasting effects like she still has some kind of memory things going on but she still has all of her um all of her wits about her i would say she um doesn't really have any slurred speech she you know is not paralyzed so she's still walking but she just felt like she would need some kind of assistance and she didn't want to be a burden on her daughter um yeah so the other main people are there are three active seniors who seem to be above all the ill treatment and it's because they are with um they're witches <laughs> or at least wood worshiping pagans who started the facility over 40 years ago and employed their relatives and sacrificed their fellow patients in order to stay healthy which includes them turning into their much younger selves nightly like and it's just in the night and they can't do anything with it in the morning so yeah um yeah and ultimately you know judith barbara hershey um she discovers this by snooping and being a night you know a sleuth because like there are people that are are fine you see that like there are people that um they just out of nowhere are really their health starts really fading including her roommate her roommate was really her roommate you know they wanted to treat her like she was crazy because she was just like you know you're on you're marked this isn't right or you know the woods god pagan man would come into the room at night and actually judith saw it and people were trying to treat her um roommate the staff when i say people <laughs> were treating her roommate like her roommate was 
crazy but like she she was not sleeping because she was literally being visited by this creepy woods pagan god because that's part of it yeah and basically she discovers all this she finds out you know they're taking people's hair they're taking this and that from them and they're sacrificing their little bit of life like ultimately it would probably be better if they got somebody younger so they wouldn't have to keep doing this so often like y'all killing somebody every week and it's just like and it's weird that no one's come to check about they folks they don't have any kind of access to the outside world it's just like, i have never seen a nursing home so restrictive like it was, it was elder abuse it just was and yeah <laughs> I was just, but ultimately she discovers that these, the three mains, um, I'll just say Ruben because he's the main one, who that he's all chummy with and they're still all with it. Like I said, they're immune to everything that they're, they're witches. And when they, dis when she discovers it with the help of her grandson, because I will say she, um, and it's also messed up that she, because after Judith, you know, basically moves in with her daughter after her daughter is widowed and when her grandson is quite young. So that's why she moves in and she, you know, does all that. Her daughter wasn't trying to listen to her. And then even the doctor who was, um, you know, diagnosing all the patients with the same thing, dementia, Parkinson's dementia, it was always as a combo. That's another thing too. She didn't get no kind of second opinion. Your mama is like, uh, why are we only using the doctor that's inside the nursing home when she has the primary care doctor? That's all I'm saying. I'm like, exactly. Especially since she has actually had a stroke. So it would just seem weird that there was no uh, kind of outside thing. I didn't like how quick her, her daughter was just like, well, mom, you're hallucinating. And this is for your own good. And I was like, I would never look at her the same. Ooh, but anywho, she discovers it, and then in the um, thing to keep it, um, she is ready, you know, to shut the operation down. Because, like, even Ruben's daughter is the head of this nursing home right now. It's just like, and they all have relatives. So she uncovers this with her grandson, who breaks into the nursing home and gives her the codes to go outside and do all that kind of stuff. Like, you know, good on you, grandson. He, they discover them in the um, woods. And so, you know, of course, Reuben in one last stitch tries to destroy Judith. And, but she, through her sleuthing, figured out that he was part of this, you know, the head of this witchy <laughs> pagan group. And so she switches her hair, which, because he ends up showing up to her room because he has like he's coming on to her. And, um, and I think, well, he might have been, he might have been, because she's still a nice looking, she's a good looking lady. Um, he tries, he's like, I'm gonna throw it in the fire and destroy you, but she switches out her hair for his hair, and they all got white hair, because they're old. So, <laughs> yeah, because they're elderly. And, and then of course, the other two women plead for their life. They're like, listen, you don't have to tell anybody you could get a part of this too. You already have, you know, your relative that knows about it, that they never, you would never have to leave them again. You could stay young and this, that, and the third. And of course, Judah takes them up on it because she would never, have to essentially leave her family um because she wasn't so stuck on being young even though she missed being young because she was a professional dancer she loved doing that and she couldn't do it anymore um as you know our body starts to fail us or just changes with age so she does eventually you know get into it she's part of the secret again so that is the gist of it um this was um how scary was it um on a scale of one to five spooky scary skeletons one because it's more suspenseful than scary um there's nothing the only thing that was actually kind of i might bump that up to it too because whoever did that mock-up for the the pagan woods creature god he was so so creepy like he when he stepped out of the tree when they finally discovered that this is what they were sacrificing to he was mad creepy and that's what he was showing up in um her room to go harass her roommate that everybody they were trying to pretend like it's um was crazy who did end up getting you know dying and that roommate had the list 
who was like she she figured it out before and she left it and she was like you know you find it you you're marked watch your back girl so basically that's it is it family friendly no these old people be cussing and <laughs> smoking weed <laughs> and all that kind of stuff because um a lot of it is like they're young trapped inside an old body but that's not really the case they're old and they just turn young nightly so they still feel like themselves um is it good overall even though i gave it two on the scary scale it is yes this is, has been one of the better horror movies that i've seen um this whole season um this is probably my favorite either this or madre's um which i talked about in another video have been my favorite of the bloom house um for this year um i would give it a b it's refreshing to see older people um being the protagonist and the antagonist of the piece um i would definitely watch this again even though the initial shock is gone and it's spoiled after one watch the storyline is pretty good i do um i like it and i like that you know it didn't end, um infantilize the older people i liked um yeah i just like that they were the protagonist and the antagonist like i saw both sides and um yeah so final questions when exactly did the patient sacrifice witchy stuff start that's my main thing because we know they have at least been doing this for 40 years but did they were they doing this even when they're young because it basically happened when um reuben said he discovered this because he basically watched his wife um, with her away to the point like when she died um, she didn't remember anybody um, so that um, I'm thinking that maybe those were her brain scans with the Parkinson dementia even though when you see brain scans if you don't know what I'm looking at it kind of all looks the same um, so yeah there's that and the main question of it this becomes a question of morality um, would they all, um, well, no, this is another question. <laughs> Sorry. Would they, uh, the other question I had is that, would they all eventually die or does the constant sacrifice, ba sacrificing basically make them immune, um, if there's no other outside accidents happening? Like, if you got shot, you get shot, you know? Um, if you get, yeah, fatally shot, you get fatally shot. But, like, does that basically make you immortal as long as you keep on sacrificing? that's never answered um that's open-ended and also my the final final question is a question of morality could you be like judith because judith in the end couldn't um wouldn't press with the issue of maybe never seeing her family again in death and how much they depend on each other that she um, or how you know just how close her her and her grandson are that um she couldn't turn away like being away from him because he literally is like grandma please don't don't leave me because like the main thing that he has is that his main memory he still remembers you know his his father died and how she came in and basically you know covered that family so could you be able to do that um if given that opportunity um like judith was given would you um you know do the right thing morally you know just you know we all are here we're gonna we're born and we're gonna die so that's that um if it meant that that would happen at the expense of that you would have to sacrifice others and i would assume at least some of these people would at least be your friends um at this point so there's that and also what um how did they go about picking people that was another thing because it was i mean you know like death is natural but they didn't they didn't do this to everybody they picked certain lists and i didn't notice that like all that list were women too because there's men in this nursing home it's co-ed nursing home so yeah that's that like i said this is one of the better horror movies i enjoyed it all right um tell me what you guys thought about this have you seen this how y'all feel about the elderly protagonist i'm with it i like it all right, thanks for watching. Remember that Nessie loves you. Bye.